to meet you. <laughs> and if you're a friend coming back, thanks so much for coming and hanging out tonight. It is part two of our epic Goodwill shop along and haul. On this day, my Aunt Beth and I, we had our 35% off coupon, which we get about once a month. Um, and we go use it about once a month. <laughs> we take a big trip and we go over to the Akron Goodwill. And in this Akron Goodwill, we have a retail side and we have an outlet side called the bins. Um, on these days, we spend the whole day there. We usually take a nice lunch break, but we start over on the retail side. We spend our coupon. And then if we have any steam left in us, we go over to the uh, bin side. And we had a little bit of steam. <laughs> I am going to share with you today the retail side. And then I will do another video just for the Goodwill bin side. Um, I captured very little footage, but we did get some things. And so I'm going to share those with you separate. Probably be on Tuesday. If you miss Tuesday of this week, um, you're going to want to go back and check it out. You can do that after you watch tonight's, um, but I will definitely connect it up here and down below so that you can go see what we got. When I say epic, I mean epic. There were some wonderful bolos and I, of course, share all that information with you and what you should be looking out for. Um, and tonight is no different. I split the video kind of in half. I'm gonna share with you um, some more incredible things that we found. Um, some things worth like good money. This trip was well worth it and we both had a wonderful time and found amazing things and all that jazz. Um, I'm just gonna shut up and we're gonna go shopping again. Let's go take a look at the second half of this Goodwill adventure. Let's go. We've decided that somebody gave up their entire iris collection because we have irises, irises everywhere. They're all speckled in irises. here. Oh, more irises. That's neat. That looks like it could be Capa de Monte. Yep, it's a little piece of Capa de Monte. Look at how pretty those flowers are. They don't look very busted at all. Little chippied. Oh, a little chippied up top, too. I see cookies up there. What's, what's in that? Cookies. Looks like it's missing a lid. Yep, it is. I see ducks everywhere, too. Yeah, there's a lot of ducks. A lot today. of ducks and irises today. There's some ducks. And some little luster ducks. Luster ducks. Does that sound like a good band name? <laughs> And coming to stage, everybody, the luster ducks. I see a feather. What's this feather? It's a resin feather. That's all it is. Cough mixture. This Somebody did this. They added this little label so it would look old. We had some cool stuff here today. This is gonna have to be a two-parter because we, we just got here. How long do you think we've been here? Half an hour, 40 minutes? Yeah. We haven't even made it out of the first row yet. Well, we made it down to the carts. That was dangerous. That's nice. It's got a lot of gunk on the inside. So many things, so many things. Yes, we must marry them. Where is it? I don't know, you saw it. You saw it, I didn't. What is this got on it? Oh, it's a donut. A donut? A donut. I don't get it. No arms. He's on a, is that a, that's a stump, right? I'm missing, I'm missing something here. Or a very bad body deformity. Mm, I'm gonna say it's a stump. That's, that is so odd. I, it's almost odd enough for me to get, almost. There's so much here. Y'all, there's so much here. What is this little girl? Is she a bell? She's a bell. She's pretty. She's pretty. 
This woman's missing an arm. I don't think I'm that talented yet with my polymer clay. That, that woman's missing all her lace. This is very cool. It's a stein. I don't usually look at steins. This one has an airplane on top and it says Nuremberg Air Base, but it is completely correct. Otherwise, I would be buying that. It's really too bad that this was broken. Uh, looks like these can have uh, value. So keep an eye out for those steins with the airplanes on top. A little bunny up here. What's this? This looks like it might be cloisonné. No, it's meant to mimic cloisonné. With some shedding flowers in there. Look at that big cobalt blue apothecary. That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, see what happens when she gets in front of me. I stall, I stall out. Well, you took too long on the end cap. I didn't lady. see the end cap, lady. Oh, it's super thin. Oh, look at that. Could it be Empoli? Oh, I wonder if mom would want to display that. I should. Isn't big enough. No, what but she could one? set it on top. Is that blown? Yep. Okay, definitely that one. It's wonky top. Wonky top is good. That just means it's handmade. I could sing now about wonky top. Wonky top, Tennessee. Or... Yep. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look at that little guy with the fish on it. I love that. All right, I'm gonna send a picture to mom. This is just sitting up there on the top shelf. And initially I was a little intimidated by the size of it because it's so large. So this is definitely a piece of Empoli glass. And I learned that when I took the lid off and saw the optic. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? My goodness, now you can see it in the top too. It's beautiful. There is some very minor damage just right here on the inside lip. The lid gets slammed on and off. And even if you're really careful, you know, it's glass on glass. So sometimes it gets a little chippy. There's a little chippy right here too, but that is not going to prevent this from being sold. Somebody's gonna see this big piece. They're gonna have the right place for it. Um, my mom collects cobalt blue, so she always has first dibs on cobalt, <laughs> but there were two pieces of cobalt found on this day. And the one was that cool kind of bubble jar, wonky, hand-blown piece. Uh, mom already has that. She's been here and she took it with her. Um, this is a piece that I will not feel comfortable to ship. It's too big. I think this will go over to the shop. It will have a pretty steep price tag on it because the right person will pay that. They'll know the value here. Um, and if it doesn't sell over there, I have a mom that would probably proudly display it. So I'm not just gonna give it away, right? <laughs> but wow. Where are you finding all these cute little mugs? Oh, it's, is that a big crack? A long crack? Yes, it is. Crack. Yep, that's a crack. Darn it. Oh, what's that back there? I see an owl. Oh, it's plastic. Ah, he's cute. Is it plastic or is it vintage plastic? He's vintage plastic. But he's $5. Why is he $5? He's got a little hook on him. He's neat. I think he's a spoon rest. That's a little pottery piece. It's a nice little mug. I'm starting to get where I need to be picky because my gosh, my cart is full. I love these. I feel like I buy them every time I see them. Oh, this one's only $2. Do you need any of these Lazy Susans for your 
cupboards. They're like the best things to have. I know, I have one with spices. I have, I think all of my cupboards are full of them. This one's only $2. Okay, gosh, what is going on with him? What is happening here? No, no. This is not good. Why did they do that to you? Why? Why would somebody do that to you? Somebody turn this plush cat into like a wax cat. Why? People, why would you do that? Is that a roadrunner? Yeah, but his beak's all messed up. Oh my God, he's a roadrunner. Somebody got a hold of that, like a dog or something. Yeah. Dang, I did not see him. Look at this. This is pretty neat. Ooh, I like that. I oh, know. They glazed the bottom. SM. How much is it? $5. With 35% off? Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. Dog treats, cookies. All right, look at my cart. You want me to take that one? <laughs> Your cart is full. What's happening with this chicken butt? Oh, is it one of those that holds, those are spoons. I think they're spoons, like measuring spoons. Oh, hurry up, lady. <laughs> the whole world is waiting to see what is in this. <laughs> they might be plastic. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they are spoons. I told you they were spoons. And they're all there. Oh, and they're ceramic. That's why they're, don't take the rest off. Or unless you want to check the condition. It's only two bucks. Oh. Yeah, that's a no brainer. Yeah, they're all in there. So we're gonna assume they're all good. That's We're cool. gonna buy chicken with spoon in his I butt. didn't even notice he had things in his butt. What guy? The turkey? He's metal with resin. No, I think it's all metal, but he's very heavy. He's heavy metal. That <laughs> is a heavy metal turkey. He's a heavy metal turkey. Made in China, four dollars. Look at what Beth found. Can you open this up again to show everybody? It's great because it folds out like that. So it's a tabletop easel, and this comes up, so I can put any sort of canvas in there, and it folds up real nice. And it's only $2. For me, I found something for me. It'll be easy to travel with, so it'll probably go in the camper. This will be a good thing to take and have the ability to kind of play um, when we're on the road. A leg lamp pint glass. <laughs> Way to look that up. How many of you have watched A Christmas Story? The movie is a scream and I try and watch it every year. Leg lamp! <laughs> and then on the other side it says, you are always jealous of this leg lamp. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna hold on to this. It's either gonna go over to the shop, um, right, you know, at Christmas time, which I think will sell really quick, or I'll try it on eBay. This looks like it's leather wrapped. Yeah, we're gonna check that out. I've never seen anything like this before. It is a leather wrapped beer stein, big beer mug, and it has the Texas Longhorn on it. it. Has it on both sides here. Turns out that these are vintage and they are a little bit valuable. If you have a set of these, um, of course that's always better, but a one-off still I think will do really well on eBay. Somewhere in the 20 to $25 range and that's wonderful because I paid a dollar minus 35%. <laughs> Second piece of Capa de Monte that we found. This one is like a phonograph. Look at how pretty that is. There are some missing leaves and stuff, but still neat. Very neat. 
And then a funny thing, we've made friends with somebody here and she brought over this egg and she said, something wrong with this. It says hand painted, hand painted. Can you Which side? demonstrate? I don't, I don't know. I think, I think Which maybe side? that side. So I said, well, did you look inside? And she said, no. And <laughs> look what we found inside. It's the cutest thing ever. We were making friends at this Goodwill and I was talking to a woman who was also a reseller and we were going back and forth and I was telling her about the channel and stuff like that. Well, out of the blue, she came over and she handed this to me. She said, here, I have something for you. And I said, oh, okay, thanks. And I just kind of took it. And she said, don't you see something wrong with this picture? Well, it has hand painted on here. And here we're looking at a naked egg, right? So she's like, did they forget to paint something? And I said, I don't know, did you look on the inside? And it clicked and she's like, oh no. And she literally reached back for it. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> you already gave it to me. And so we looked at it together and it has this little hatchling in here. Look at how funny he is. <laughs> he is so great. There's a little bit of damage on the top, right underneath there. Um, nothing too overly concerning. Just again, where it hits on the top. Um, but oh my gosh, look at him hanging up there. Little candy dish. Totally adorable. They only fit back on there one way. And that's probably why they get damaged. Because somebody gets frustrated and keeps turning it around. But oh, that was so funny. And it was super hilarious that she tried to grab it back. And I was like, no, 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 you gave it to me. Um, I wasn't going to let her have it back. <laughs> I probably would have if she really asked me to. She did find it, but it was funny, and I did I did end up keeping it. Um, it is a Fitz and Floyd piece if you want to look for these. Um, I might sell this. Um, it is pretty hilarious, and it does have a little bit of damage, so it may stay here. Um, I'll probably sell it. If this is something that you're interested in, knowing that it has a little bit of that um, glaze damage um, on the inside, let me know. It also has some like weirdness here. It's not crazing or anything. It's just maybe something that happened in manufacturing. If it says hand painted, <laughs> don't always assume that it's gonna be on the outside, right? Look <laughs> at what this woman found. <laughs> he is so cute. Did you name him yet? No. <laughs> Me too. Wow. And it is a big goldfish bowl. That is so neat. What does it say on the bottom? New label. Yeah. But still, I think somebody would buy that in the shop. That's going home with me. Yeah. This is cute. $2 a piece. I'll look those up. These are wonderful and I love when we see them. They're usually not in great shape. They're usually peeling and it's funny because my aunt admits that when she was little and they had these like back in the 60s, um, she would peel them. <laughs> um, but here we have one in like a green, um, one that's slightly blue and one in a yellow and they're pretty great. They have a little bit of value. I wanna say if you sell them individually, you're probably looking between eight and $10 a piece. As a set, maybe, you know, maybe close to 30 here, 25 to 30. Um, they're nice and they're in really great condition. So keep an eye out for these. Do you see what I see? It's a shorty. Yep. And it's all alone. It's all alone. We need to search for... Oh gosh, it's going to disappear down in that. It was right here. If there's more, they could be down the aisle because there's Christmas stuff down there. I looked everywhere, high and low, for the other one. I would love to find a pair of these. Now, this is not a very long one. I want to say it's maybe just about eight inches or a little taller, maybe eight and a quarter. Um, but... If you find these, they are a bolo. If you find two of these, and if they're like 11 inches or 12 inches, crazy how many people are out there who want these. 
Um, so when I found one, I screeched <laughs> and then I turned on the camera. Incredible. This one on its own, only being eight inches. We're not talking a lot of money here. Maybe somewhere between 12 and 16, just for this one, um, plus shipping on eBay. If somebody has one about this size, they're looking for its pair. Um, but yeah, look for the big ones. Keep an eye out for them. They're a big deal right now. Pretty wonderful that I found the one. It was exciting and I was really hoping to find a pair, but that's okay. It still counts, right? <laughs> well, we've made it down the road to the Christmas stuff. I am seeing some more charming tails. This one has its tag on it and it's so cute. Little furry Santa mouse. Um, this one's even cheaper than the last one I saw. And I see one down here too. That's cute. Sorry, can you get through? Okay. Just push us out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I found one on the cart in Tuesday's video. It was a little mouse um, that was like a little gift for a teacher. I think it was like, you've taught me so much or something like that. This one is called a Kissmas. And look at, she's holding the mistletoe above her head with her tail. And he is flocked. He has this beautiful little flocked um, fur around him. It's delightful. And I will share with you some comps here. This is probably a piece that I will put on eBay since it seems like it's a little bit rare to find. And then there was these guys and they're just as cute. These don't look to be as rare. I'm finding a few other ones on eBay. This one's called Home Tree Home. And like the other one, $2. They are so delightful and I just love the detail. There's always such like a great story that goes on with these. Yeah, I will pick them up every time if they have a good price on them. This place, there's so much cuteness. What is this? Disc case, does that got records in it? Is this full of records? No like 45? We gotta check. Yes, it is. Stupid award, Pam. Genius award, Pammy. This is why I like to run the camera because I make her do the tape. <laughs> there. Okay. Disc go, disc go case. Open this way. You ready? I'm ready. <gasps> Oh my gosh. A Bible and a Bus Ticket Home by Colin Ray. Pammy likes your country music. Oh, are these all country? I got it. I'm holding it. it. Yep, I'm holding it. Mo, Mo Bandy. Bandy. Nat King Cole. Oh, that's an oldie. Yeah. K Star. Yeah, you can tell by the mm -hmm. Capitol Records. Disneyland. Disneyland. It's, it's a, a small world. Oh, great. Take Back Trembling Lips. Johnny. Tillotson. Tillotson. Never heard of that. Warner Brothers. Hasta mañana. RCA Victor. Calendar Girl. <gasps> Neil Sadaka. I love, I love, I love my calendar girl. girl. Yeah. Jim, Jim Croce. Croce. Oh my gosh. Wow. Is this worth $15? I don't know. Do these sell? I don't know. Where There's how many stacked on here? I mean, they look like they're in Two, good shape. Four, six, eight. There's 10. So you're looking at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 at least. Yep. I think it's worth it. Yep. Definitely. All right, I'll hold it while you do the lid. What a cool way to end this trip on the retail side of this Goodwill. Did you have one of these? It's called a disc go case, like disco. And this Pammy, she had it fully loaded with these awesome stickers. I haven't yet decided if I'm gonna leave the stickers on. What do you think? Should I leave the stickers on or because it has Pammy all over it, should I, um, maybe I could try to erase them or maybe I should soak it and just get it, you know, clean. It's in this awesome neon pink with this black base. And then I think when I list it on eBay, I'll just make a whole list of all of the albums that you know are in here yeah what a great way to end this trip finding something like this by the way while i was doing research on this disco case i stumbled on these beatles disco cases wow they're worth money
it was just an epic day at the Goodwill. We both filled carts and had um, a big receipt when we left. Of course, we spent enough money to rack up enough points to get us a new coupon. We're definitely gonna have to do some planning and get over to the Akron Goodwill again because the last couple of times, that's where we've gone to spend our coupon and it has paid off. I still have a pretty awesome bins haul to share, so probably do that on Tuesday. Be sure to come back for that one. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out and going shopping with us this week. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do that. Um, hit the little alert, set it to all. So you know when I have a new video it happens a couple of times a week. Um, while you're doing that down there, click a like or a dislike. I really don't care. And then do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. I love the comments. I definitely talk to everybody. I respond to all of them. And then the best thing you can do for the channel to help it grow is to share it out. Tell somebody that you know that you're watching somebody that you know who is showing off their stuff, their treasures, and sharing information on everything that they find. All right, everybody. I hope you have something fun planned for the weekend. I will see you come Tuesday with a bins haul. A little bit of a shop along, but mostly a haul. And then we have some travel coming up that I'm going to share with you uh, down to Columbus. So that will be on Thursday. So looking forward to another week. Hope to see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye.